Cap 7 Tip of the Week. Hello, my name is Bradley Schumacher, two-time Olympic gold medalist and co-founder of Cap 7 International. Today we're going to be talking about a six-on-five situation where we have our team set up in a 3-3 three, three, and we're looking to specifically attack one area of the, of the group. Okay, so in this situation, you know, the way we number this on our team, so everybody knows if I say, hey, 3-3, three, three, you're in the four spot. Okay, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, and this person is just center or whatever you want to call it. But they're in the center of the goal. Same numbers as you would the number of a front court offense situation. But I number it like this because it's just really it's much faster when you're on a timeout. I say, hey, three, three, and then I can yell out the positions or I have the positions listed as to where they're going and they know where to go but based on the position. The ball always comes to the three spot. Okay. This person cannot shoot. Why? If they shoot in this situation, two on one, two goal turnaround, we're going to get scored on. Okay. This person's job is you're, you're a strong shooter, but your best decision maker. Okay. And the person that we're setting up to shoot is the two spot every single time. What we're going to do, get the ball here. We're going to start attacking forward and towards this player, towards the side of the goal. As soon as they get the ball and start addressing this player, this player is going to swim and turn their back to this player as a kind of like a back pick. So I'm going to swim in and post on them just like this. Probably show my hands. And the greatest thing about this in the whole world is that this person is going to shift about three or four feet and then over the top, skip, goal, right? What's the, what are the potential defensive scenarios? What's read number two? Read number two is this. As I shift in, this is a really smart defender. They fight to the outside. I get the ball. Ball goes to the two post for a slam. So as I'm swimming in, I'm swimming in to set the pick. The defender sees what the, we're going to shift down from two. The person slides to the outside. As soon as I see that person slide to the outside, I step back, I get on my legs. My player locks, gives me the ball inside, and I stuff it home. Okay? If you get to the, the, the third read, let's say they're really smart, okay? And they jump here and they get us, they're like really forcing us to make a long pass, okay? In that scenario, if we think about this and we've attacked this way, right? If we do release the ball all the way over to here, then their job is to go back in inside okay right you have to make them you have to force them to guard us because that's this player will be open on the inside because this player is up high how often does that happen very rarely and if you have to make this pass to, to the inside that you're probably you know your percentage of scoring goes down okay but when you're thinking about a 3-3 the most important th thing is to have this three player have a crazy amount of discipline not to shoot the ball because if they shoot the ball, it's a guaranteed two-on-one the other way. All right? That'll wrap us up in the six-on-five on a three-three. Um, if you have more questions, please visit uh, the CWPA website and check out the library for all kinds of fundamental skills and drills to improve your game.